everyone, this is Lilith with another video for Altenew. Today I'm going to show you how I created this layout. I used three inks from Altenew, uh, Coral Berry, Lagoon and Mango, and also used various um, stamps from our different collections. Now I was inspired by one of the backgrounds that I created on a Facebook Live a couple of weeks ago, but I did want to add a little bit more color. So using that idea of stamping text on the background, you can see the image of that background just to the left. I thought I'd do the same thing, but add a, a pattern to the background in color. So here I am stamping a circle with one of the halftone circles from the stamp set, and I'm using Lagoon. Now my first image wasn't very crisp, so I just turned the paper around and I just popped beneath a soft pad which just helps the image to stamp nice and crisply. So I'm stamping three larger circles and then I'm going to choose two smaller ones which I will also stamp over the layout but in a different color. So here I'm just going to pull off a smaller circle just prep that with an eraser and I'm going to ink that up with a mango smoothie it's called mango smoothie sorry and uh, just as I did with the larger one, just stamp that three times over the layout. This is really randomly, I haven't measured anything out. Now I'm going to take the smallest circle and ink that up with coral berry and once again just stamp that over the image. I won't be using any pattern papers for this layout as I think the color from the inks is enough to make a statement. So once I've got the uh, colored background, I'm going to start uh, stamping the texts. I'm first going to use one of the quotes from the Beautiful Quotes stamp set. These are amazing stamps that you can use either on your scrapbook pages, but also on cards or any other projects. I'm going to stamp that three times and I'm going to try and integrate the concept of a triangle. So I've kind of stamped those three stamps in a triangle. I'm going to take a second stamp but in a different font and that's what's fun about this technique is that you can mix and match different types of fonts. I'm going to ink that up with my black permanent ink which is also from Altenew and which comes in a mini cube which is really uh, practical and once again I'm just going to stamp that three times this time just stamping it below the previous stamp. I'm going to take another stamp text stamp from the Adore You stamp set and once again just ink it up and stamp that onto the layout. You can play around where you want to place these stamps but I do advise you to cluster them in uh, like I'm doing here and just place them then in, in clusters of threes or fours around your layout. My last stamp comes from the Label Love stamp set. You can get this stamp set in different languages, so it's in English, French, Italian, Spanish and German and I'm using the French edition and I picked the stamp Je t'aime. Once again just inking it up with a blank ink and popping it uh, beneath the previously stamped images and you can see how crisp that image is. Now when I create a layout I always like adding the date so here I'm going to use my little roller stamp from Altenew, which comes in the Reflection, Reflection Scrapbook collection. Sorry about that. And I'm going to stamp that three times as well, but I'm not going to ink it up every time. I'm just going to stamp it until uh, there is nearly no ink on the stamp. Now I'm going to place my photo. Now I'm not using any pattern papers, but I'm going to add a little bit of detail using some of the die cuts, which also come in our scrapbook collection. You can also get these separately now in bundles. I will leave all links to products in the blog post on our, um, on our blog. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, just pop them in the comment section and I will gladly reply. Um, see you very, very soon and bye-bye.